frozen fever. Elsa's perfect plan. Queen Elsa sat in her study and thought. Her little sister's birthday was coming up, and Elsa couldn't decide how to celebrate it. She wanted to make the day extra special. Anna had never had a real birthday celebration. Elsa remembered how lonely their childhoods had been. She had spent most of her life trying to hide her magic, but last year, Anna had helped her understand how to control it. Everything was better now, thanks to her sister. As Elsa looked at the kingdom, she wondered if Anna had thought about her birthday. Knowing Anna, she wasn't expecting anything. That's it, Elsa whispered. I can give Anna a surprise party. The next morning, Elsa consulted with the household servants, Gerda and Kai. I'll make sure the silverware is ready and the dishes are washed, Gerda offered. And I'll create the menu, Kai said. Perfect, Elsa said. Now I'm free to focus on presents, decorations, and entertainment. Elsa paced the hall. She knew Anna valued friends and family, but how was Elsa going to turn them into a present? She glanced up at a huge painting. Suddenly, her face lit up. I'll give Anna a new family portrait. Elsa needed to get to town to begin making arrangements. She turned abruptly and ran down the hall, but she didn't see Anna coming from the other direction. The sisters crashed right into each other. Where are you rushing off to? Anna asked. Uh, um, Elsa stammered. She had to distract Anna. I was just going to, er, the attic? I can help, Anna said. What do you need? Elsa took a deep breath and blurted out the first thing that popped into her mind. String! I really need... string! Elsa was worried if she stayed around much longer, she'd ruin the surprise. So she turned and ran, leaving Anna rather perplexed. With Anna occupied, Elsa hurried to the village. She had planned to visit the royal painter, but when she saw the bakery, she stepped inside. Can you create a huge chocolate birthday cake for my sister? She asked the baker. And it needs to be a surprise. Of course, the baker replied. What kind of chocolate? We have different varieties. Just then, Anna burst through the door. Elsa, Anna exclaimed. I've been looking everywhere for you. I found your string, she said, holding up an enormous ball. Boy, is that attic dusty. Then Anna looked around. Oh, wow, look at all these cupcakes. Elsa shot the baker a nervous glance. How would she order the cake now? But the baker had planned many surprise parties. With a wink, he turned to Anna. Would you like to taste one of our chocolate cupcakes? Or maybe an ice cream cake? Which kind is your favorite? After sampling to their heart's content, Anna and Elsa headed home with just a few extras. Over the following days, Elsa began waking up earlier and earlier so she could sneak into town before Anna awoke. She was having great fun preparing for the party. But Anna was feeling lonely. Elsa never seemed to have any time to spend with her. Elsa visited Oaken's Cloakins, the jeweler's shop, the stables, the children's choir, and the tailor. She sought the advice of fishermen and florists. She even met with the royal painter to discuss the new portrait. She wanted everything to be perfect. The big day was almost here. But after so many errands, Elsa was exhausted. That's when Kristoff and Sven walked by. They had been shopping for a special gift for Anna. You look tired, Kristoff said. There's no time to be tired, Elsa replied. I still need to get the decorations. Don't worry, he said. Leave the decorations to Sven and me. Meanwhile, Anna was feeling even lonelier. It was odd. She knew her birthday was almost here, 
but as the day got closer, it seemed like everyone was ignoring her. On the evening before her birthday, Anna sighed as she talked with Olaf. I just want to spend time with Elsa and Kristoff tomorrow. I'd hate for the day to go by without my best friends. Why? What's tomorrow? Olaf asked. It's my birth... Anna paused, then smiled. It's the summer solstice, a great day to be with friends and family and do nice things for the people you love. What kinds of nice things? Olaf asked. Well, Anna said, like wash Kristoff's sled. Let's do it. It was dusk as Anna and Olaf made their way to the stables, hauling sponges and a bucket of warm water. But when they pulled the blanket off the sled to begin their secret task, there were Kristoff and Sven, asleep. What are you doing here? Kristoff asked groggily. I was going to wash your sled, Anna explained. Kind of a summer solstice surprise. Kristoff led Anna outside, and they settled against the wall. Olaf and Sven followed. The summer solstice is an important day, Kristoff said. But it's more important because it's your birthday. Do you even know what a real birthday is? Oh, I know, Olaf said. The little trolls told me it's when family and friends get together and there are candles and everyone sings and gives presents and... Yes, songs and presents are nice, Kristoff interrupted, but they're not what make a real birthday. Anna sighed. I may have had that kind of birthday a long time ago. I don't really remember. From her bedroom window up high in the castle, Elsa looked out and saw Anna talking to Kristoff. She opened the window just a crack to listen. Sven snorted and nudged Kristoff. Then Kristoff cleared his throat. <clears> throat> uh, a birthday is a day when everyone gets to say that they really, really, uh, Love, uh, cake, Kristoff was blushing. Well, I do love cake, Anna said. That really is a great day, she said. Inside the castle, Elsa had just a few more presents to wrap. Then she spotted the string she'd had Anna fetch from the attic, and a wonderful idea occurred to her, and it would take a lot of string. Just then, there was a light knock at the door. It was Anna. Um, I can't open the door now, Elsa said. She didn't want Anna to see any of the gifts. Elsa? Anna asked. You know it's my birthday tomorrow, right? Of course, Elsa said. Would you like to do something together? I've cleared the whole day. I'd love that, Anna said. See you bright and early? But maybe not too early. Anna was not a morning person. Good night, Anna, Elsa said sweetly. Then she held up the ball of string and smiled. There were only a few hours left until Anna's birthday, and for the first time in weeks, Elsa felt she had everything under control. The celebration would be perfect. Written by Victoria Saxon. Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team.